Hey guys, so in this video we are going to be doing a throttle test between the IQ9 Pro and the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Now, a lot of these specs on this are pretty much exactly the same. There's one thing I do want to highlight, this screen is flickering, okay? Uh, this one isn't. Not sure why. Resolution's the same. 1440p, 1440p, they're fine. And they are both running at the 120 hertz refresh rate as well. So I don't know why that one is flickering. Anyway, you can't see that flickering with the naked eye. It's just uh, through the camera. Um, so yeah, uh, let's have, just quickly show you here all the specs. Um, where is it on this one? System management, about phone. So they both have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. The brand new chip. They both have 12 gigabytes of RAM. We have um, what's on this one? The system will extend RAM by uh, three gig if needed, and on this one, it'll extend it by four gig if needed. But to be fair, 12 gig of RAM in a phone is more than enough. So I don't really think it's going to need to do or extend, um, you know, extend the RAM or anything. So yeah, my personal opinion, you don't need that. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a CPU throttle test today. Um, but I just want to quickly show you, obviously, the similar in size. The IQ9 Pro is slightly bigger. Beautiful displays on both. Okay. And they are so, you know, very, very much identical, to be fair. The curved edges, curved display. The main difference is maybe the top there. So the Xiaomi 12 Pro is more of a curved top. The IQ is a flat top and a, um, a flat bottom as well. But look how identical those, that those two are there at the bottom. Very identical. Both have the foggy uh, lens issue as well. So, you know, uh, the back, that IQ looks amazing, doesn't it? Absolutely amazing and holding it I absolutely love holding this IQ compared to the 12 Pro to be fair I've not used the 12 Pro much I haven't even used it as my proper daily driver yet I used the 12X for weeks and weeks absolutely love the 12X you know guys 12X is uh, is amazing for what it is and how much it, how much you can get it for but holding this feels so much better than holding the 12 Pro anyway I'm blabbing on so I did charge them earlier. They're both at 100%. We're going to be doing a 15 minute CPU throttle test. Okay, let's make sure everything is exactly the same. Uh, number of sides 20, put 15 minutes on that. So 2015 display temperature if you want. I don't really take much notice of that, but that is the same. Click save and we're pretty much good to go guys. So both Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, have a guess what who thinks gonna handle it better. Obviously the way design the materials used in it will help dissipate heat more maybe um, but we'll see. Let's go. 15 minutes start now. Wow, the IQ absolutely <laughs> throttled there. It's still got just over a minute to test. I just want to hover this over the phone while it's still in action. I've only got 43. 
Look down here. It's definitely hotter up there. 43.1. Over here. Forty one. Okay, so the IQ seems to be running hotter at forty three. This is around forty one. And the test is nearly finished, We've got thirty seconds left. Okay, another double, double check. Yeah, it's about the same, 42, nearly 43. Is the 12 Pro slightly cooler by a couple of degrees? Check the battery life, 96, 93 better battery on the 12 Pro. Look at that on the 12 Pro. Huge dips and then it come back up again. So maybe that's how it managed to uh, be slightly cooler as well. Uh, but in terms of performance, average is 221,160 gips. One left, or the sorry, the IQ is two hundred forty-seven thousand eight hundred sixty-nine overall performance. So we've got uh, faster performance on the IQ, but on here, obviously, it's a little bit warmer overall, wasn't it? And the graph here, although it's throttled quite a lot, hold a sort of a steadier line than the twelve Pro. Uh, but either way, the eight Gen One it's rubbish in terms of throttling tests i mean in real life in real life uh, scenarios you know you're not going to be hammering a phone like that but it is still sort of interesting to see that what sort of results you do get if you do hammer a phone like that maybe someone who games heavily on mobile phones constant for you know for a good few hours they may experience some sort of throttling on their on their smartphones uh, but it is still interesting to sort of see you know, to see um, where they do perform. What was the minimum on there, on the 12 Pro? You can't really see that. 151,000 gips. That's the minimum performance. And on the minimum on that was 195. So this does give an overall better performance on the IQ, but slightly hotter uh, temperatures and uh, battery life is obviously not as good either. 92% now, 96. So that was my CPU throttle comparison with the 12 Pro and the IQ. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts and stuff. But yeah, interesting. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, pop them down below. If you like this sort of content, then uh, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.